a big wingman welcome to the wingman's past of positivity, right? Of living a better life, of creating the life of your choosing, of raising your vibration and living the life you intended to live. I thank you for joining me today for what promises to be a practice which I believe will help you to do exactly what we just said, to walk the wingman's path, to practice positivity, to become, to, to raise your vibration and to start feeling the magic in your own and the power that you have to create the life you want to create, right? It's a wonderful thing and uh, as always, I appreciate you joining me. I thank you and I thank you for sharing these practices with your loved ones, your family, your friends, your community because I know, as you well know, the more of us that practice positivity, the easier it is for each of us to walk the wingman's path and bring more positive energy into our lives. And imagine what this will do for your, your family and your friends and your loved ones when you start showing that you can create the life you want to create, right? How great is that? So I thank you for sharing them with your community. Today's practice comes to us, uh, I was reminded of it from this past weekend which was the Miss America contest. I don't know if you happen to see it, but a young lady, Cara Mund, um, actually from Brown University, which is right up here in Providence, but she was Miss North Dakota, and she was the first Miss North Dakota to have ever won the Miss America contest. So that was pretty cool. I particularly loved her answer. You know, there wasn't these softball questions that you're used to in the, in the old days, right? She, her answer, about President Trump withdrawing from the climate uh, accord and she was not shy in saying she thought it was a mistake and I really enjoyed that answer. But seeing that it was Miss America, I was reminded that a few years back I had the honor and the privilege of being asked by the Miss New Jersey pageant to coach their Miss New, Miss New Jersey, Sierra Kaler Jones, Miss New Jer ah, excuse me, Miss New Jersey 2014 as she was heading off to the Miss America contest. I was to be her confidence coach, which was really a sort of a, a very cool thing working with the, you know, with the Miss New Jersey. And, and I'm not sure if I was her confidence coach or she was mine because it was just wonderful working with her. And I think I got more out of it than she did. However, we came up with a practice then that I thought would be very helpful to you in your everyday life and me. It's been very helpful to me and I've used it ever since then. And it's, others have done it, I can too. You know those quiet moments, or maybe you don't. I talked about it with Sierra as those quiet moments before the big game. Those quiet moments before the big game, where you're sitting there and you're alone in your thoughts. Well, for her, the big game, of course, was going out and being interviewed, either being interviewed or walking out on stage, and obviously having to present really well. And so we came up with a practice that she would say, just for the minute or so before she went on stage or went into the interview process. And by the way, which was really cool, and I was like, wow, that's so cool. She had a top five interview finish that year. Um, but we came up with this practice saying, others have done it, I can too. Others have done it, I can too. How cool is that as a practice? I find for me, it just changes my vibration from nervousness and anxiety ridden to, hey, others have done it, I can too. Others have done it, you can too. Whatever it is you're looking to achieve, others have done it, right? Whatever goal you're looking to achieve, whatever desire you're looking to manifest, others have done it. You can too. And I think it's a wonderful practice to get into your subconscious to just remember to relax and say, hey look, others have done it, I can do it also. So why don't you practice, please practice with me today and we'll say it together for one minute. Others have done it, I can too. And as we do, I want you to relax into the idea that whatever it is you are looking to accomplish, whatever goal you're looking to achieve, that others have done it, and you definitely can also. So join me and let's say, others have done it, I can too. Ah, that's right, breathe the feeling in, breathe it in. Others have done it, I can too. Others have done it. You can too. Eh? <sighs> Others have done it. I can too. For me, it might be thinking about writing a book. Others have certainly written a book about practices and how to help people 
raise their vibration and achieve their goals. Others have done it. I can too. What's your goal? Others have done it. You can too. Others have done it. You can too. Isn't that the coolest thing? That you know that others have done it. So it's not like you have to break new ground. You have a, a game plan. You have a blueprint. Others have done it. You can too. And one of the things I find most important in this practice, and as, a, as always in all practices, is getting your vibration right. Because if you're going to achieve a goal, you're going to have to start from in here and in here. And you're going to have to start raising your vibration and matching the vibration of the goal you want to achieve. Right? That's how you achieve a goal. And others have done it, and you can too. And others have done it, and I can too. Together, others have done it. We can too, right? We can. Others have done it. I can too. <sighs> Others have done it. I can too. I want you to practice that a little bit during your day when you're driving, just for a minute at a time. And as you can, well, maybe not when you're driving, but maybe when you're sitting. Think about that others have done, have accomplished the goal you want to accomplish. And that makes it that much easier that you know you can accomplish it as well. And let that feeling, bring that feeling into your heart and into your mind and into your body. And let's send that vibration out into the universe. Because what happens, you know it, right? The universe is going to match it and send you back that which you desire. So I thank you for joining me today. I thank you for sharing these practices and, and helping your community grow in positivity and raise their vibration and, and start living, the, know, know that they can live the life that they choose. So thank you. Have a wonderful day. One in which you realize others have done what you're wanting to do and you can do it as well. And I will say goodbye to you and see you tomorrow. Your wingman, Michael, signing off. <laughs>